Hey guys, I am going to explain why investing in modern and recent sets of Magic the Gathering cards financially doesn't work in Alpha Investment should not be giving this advice to his patrons or even encouraging this type of behavior because he's smart enough to know that you're going to zero. So number one, I'm just going to use the example of the recent Timmy, uh, the guy basically said that he sold his collection to help his mom. He wanted to take some time off work. And this is right. This is where, where you I'm heading is your family is more important than your magic cards, your dog, your cat, your kids, your significant other, your wife, your husband, whatever is more important. Everything is more important than magic cards. And at the end of the day, magic cards are basically useless pieces of cardboard that we assign a theoretical value to. That being said, it never should be an investment. And the reason it never should be an investment is very simple. It's not liquid. When you need money the most, when your mom is in trouble, the hospital is not going to accept magic cards. Right? Um, they want cash or they want some type of, you know, payment system, payment plan, which is cash. Everyone makes fun of cash, but that's what they use, right? Everyone's like, oh, don't hold cash because of inflation. Invest in magic cards to the moon. But you know what? The hospital, you cannot pay the hospital in magic cards. You cannot pay the grocery store in magic cards. You cannot pay the restaurant in magic cards. Has anyone tried it? I mean, it's almost as ludicrous as paying them in NFTs or crypto, right? It ain't going to work. They're going to think that you are an idiot. And when you invest in something as, I mean, Number one, it takes a lot of space. It takes a lot of damn space, right? We're not talking about a bank account on your phone. We're not talking about something on your laptop, that a password and login that you go into. We're not talking about a credit card, which is a single card. We are talking about, I'm talking about sealed, a horde, a horde of sealed product. Um... You have to have space for it. Hopefully, you have to pay insurance for it. You are, There's upkeep to the product, even if you don't believe there is. So if you live in a place like Hong Kong, New York City, I promise you that space will be very, very valuable to you. Even for me, I live in Texas, and the space that my Magic cards and Pokemon cards and other cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards have is just, you know, I, I wish I had my space back. There's like a media room maybe a, a TV, I don't know. There's a million different things I would want to do with that space. And the last one of them is to fill it with uh, more cards, right? That would be the last thing I would want to do. So A, there is a space concern, and two, B, there is a maintenance concern, right? Cards can get damaged, they can get lost, floods can happen, hurricanes can happen, and so on. And lastly, there's an illiquidity concern. The reason that these people have to sell, and this isn't the first time Alpha Investment made a video about Timmy, a desperate Timmy, having some type of fine, um, issue, right? Family or financial and having, you know, so in the comments, the Timmy suggested that he wanted to take time off work. I could even go for a step further. I don't know if he um, did that or I don't know if he was laid off. In a different realm, maybe these guys are just going to get laid off soon. The economy is not very strong right now as a small business owner. I straight up tell you, man, I'm not looking to hire. This is like the first time in three, four years that even if somebody really talented came along and I thought that was like a good deal, you know, a quote, good deal, right? This guy is obviously qualified and even overqualified. I would at least interview him and take the time, him or her, and take the time to really Look at um, whether or not they can bring my company to the next level. It would be worth it to me. Uh, but now I don't even do that because there's no point. Um, there's no point. So when you need money the most is when magic cards are worth the least. When you need money the most is when magic cards are most illiquid. When you need money the most and can no longer sit on your collection... Um, that's when shit hits the fan, man. That's when everyone else and their grand and your grandmother is trying to sell their collection to do anything else, anything else. 
Um, and we reached that point. Um, obviously, this quote investor would have probably loved to hold on a little. I mean, it's obvious. He does, no one wants to take it out. No one wants to be a loser. No one wants to be a Timmy, right? Like you always hear about Timmy's. I mean, essentially, he bought these boxes for $89 plus $15. Let's just round it up to $100 a box to make it easy. And he probably sold them for $10 or $15 or $20 a box. If that. I mean, there's some boxes here I wouldn't even look at for like $20. Like, am, like, um, Amazon had Midnight Hunt set at $40 a box um, two primes ago. Prime days ago. And I was like, wow, I've never seen a box at $40. But here we are, right? Uh, so if it's forty dollars a box, you think buy list is half, but then like you can't even sell it. Uh, the collector boxes and these things, and you know, Rudy is going to really jam hard on these Timmys of his, and it's actually kind of brilliant, right? When you talk about customer base, um, he needs a lot of desperate people, and he's actually created scenarios where these people, <laughs> his own patrons, are the most desperate people. Um, I think another example, the $700 Rudy Mystery Box. How many of them would rather have $700 today than whatever garbage was in the Mystery Box? I mean, the Mystery Box looks worse and worse as time goes on because it was heavy Meta Zoo. And we know Meta Zoo is not doing very hot right now. Um, they, they, have like, they have like one or two content creators, right? And that's it. And I've never seen anything like that, like... Like, where, what does everyone else do? I mean, okay, there's like one or two positive content creators, and then everyone else is negative. And sh shit has hit the fan in that game, and yet that whole mystery box was mostly MetaZoo, from what I could tell. MetaZoo playmats, MetaZoo Rudy cards. I, I mean, everyone was hoping for the MetaZoo Santa Claus, right? I mean, it's wild to think about that. That, like, and, and some people, multiple people, bought four of those boxes. Four. That's $2,800, guys. That is, you know, in terms of, like, what this is, it's $2,800 is probably, like, what Rudy paid for this entire, you know, lot of cards. So all he had to do was sell a bunch of Rudy mystery kits that he got from free stuff he got. Um, and then uh, he was able to buy this lot from his own Patreon. You know, it's Savage, right? It, it is the definition of Savage, and I love it. Because at the end of the day, the, I mean, not, I wish, I don't, I wish this guy the best of luck, right? And his mom. But you should know that Magic Sealed is not an investment. You should know that. And if the guy selling it to you thinks it's an investment and then buys it back from you for one-tenth the price, yikes, my dude. Uh, and it happens time and time and time again. Um, my point has always been, why do you need that many cards? You don't even like have a card shop. You just sell the stuff online and people think, oh, Rudy's successful in this and that. I don't believe it. Um, uh, because he wouldn't be hoarding like this. This is either like some, a hoarding problem or some other type of problem because I don't get like, like for instance, new Campena, why does Rudy need so much of it? I, I just it blows my mind why he's still buying this stuff. I get it if it's like older and vintage or like a rare commodity and it's really cheap. But like who who needs more new who needs more new Campena or Midnight Hunt or Crimson Valley? Like why would you need that stuff? It's just taking space in your room next to your Meta Zoo five hundred dollar Meta Zoo boxes worth fifty dollars a day. Yikes, my dude. Yikes. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.